Uh, I hope they let us in soon. It's hard to run into the gas station to use the bathroom. The guy makes me buy a Gatorade every time. It's a vicious circle. <laughs> Too bad you don't have a stadium pal like me. What's a stadium pal? Let me put it this way. It takes care of the bathroom problem and it keeps your calf warm. <laughs> hey, guys, bad news. I just did a quick calculation. Given the size of the theater and the length of this line, we might not get seats. The what did he say? Nice going, Raj. Just got him down for his nap. <laughs> we might not get seats. It's fine, it's fine. Go back to sleep. Oh, I informed you thusly. I so informed you thusly. Howard, you talk to him. Howard. You're peeing, aren't you? <laughs> hey, look who's here. Hey, buddies. Well, if it isn't Will Wheaton, the Jar Jar Binks of the Star Trek universe. <laughs> Misa think that very funny. Well, Yusa can go think that at the back of the line. No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. Will Wheaton? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Of what? Poorly executed beards? <laughs> Do you think you could get me and my friends into the movie? We got here a little late. No problem. Come on, I'll hook you up. Oh. Awesome. We're like, gonna go into the movie now. Bye bye. This is Indiana Jones, not Star Trek. There should be no value to his pseudo celebrity here. And even at Star Trek conventions, they only let him in if he helps set up. Calm down, Sheldon. I will not calm down. This affront to justice and decency cannot go unanswered. As Captain Jean-Luc Picard once said, the line must be drawn here, this far, no farther. Had to wake him up from his nap, didn't he? You know what I really love about Howard? His chest hair. <laughs> Howard has a hairy chest? No, just the one. <laughs> but it's really long. Okay, there you go. Sultry sunrise red. What do you think? My nails have never looked so pretty before. Get it off. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, looks like they're getting ready to let people in. Listen to what Mr. Will Wheaton is tweeting. Best seats in house for Raiders screening. Suck on that Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> Why do you read his Twitter feed? You know it's only going to upset you. I believe in knowing my enemy, Leonard. Had Twitter existed at the time, would not General Custer have followed the tweets of Sitting Bull? Would not Lee have followed Grant? Would not Spy have followed Spy? I have more examples, but excuse me. Hello? Well, this seems like an odd time to test my cell phone quality, but go on. Test phrases? All right. I'm a tote. Old ba. Twad. All together? <clears throat> I'm a total buttwad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hello? And that, girls, is how you make a phony phone call. <laughs> I'm not sure I grasp the full entertainment value, but all right. Next on Wikipedia's list of slumber party activities, truth or dare? Okay, it's your game, you go first. Hang on, I'm familiarizing myself with the rules. <laughs> Seems fairly straightforward. <laughs> Bernadette, truth or dare? Truth. All right. To what temperature must you heat beef in order to kill the prion that causes bovine spongiform encephalopathy? Um... Remember, you have to answer honestly. <laughs> No, Amy, you're supposed to ask her something personal or embarrassing. Oh, all right. What is the circumference of your areolas? 